When you hear Gorgon, do you think endgame weapon? Probably not, because the base version of the Gorgon is not exactly great. However, we have two additional versions which pack a much greater wallop. The Prisma Gorgon and the Wraith Gorgon. Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be talking about the Prisma Gorgon. I'm gonna be outlining a couple of builds for this fantastic weapon. One, a cheap build that anybody can get their hands on, something affordable that new players can get into, but we also have a bit of a ribbon to check out some endgame, quote unquote, endgame potential. So, let's jump right into the Prisma Gorgon. First, why don't we start off by comparing the stats between the Gorgon Wraith and the Prisma Gorgon. I haven't included the base version here because, well, to be frank, it's kinda pointless. And as you can see on the lower right corner, the accuracy, critical chance, critical multiplier, fire rate and magazine size are all much better on the Prisma Gorgon. However, the status chance and flat base damage is better on the Gorgon Wraith. Which is better is a bit of a heated debate and I'm not gonna get into that, I'm just gonna say that I prefer the Prisma Gorgon and that's what we're gonna be talking again today about. And by the way, this color combination is what my wife made and I'm keeping it, sorry. In any case, let's check out how the weapon fires without any mods equipped. If you hold your left click down, you'll notice that the Gorgon starts off slow but then quickly builds up speed. This is a minigun mechanic and it's called a spool up. It's also worth noting that the Gorgon Wraith has a faster spool up speed, meaning it will get to full fire rate a lot faster. Well, a lot faster, a little bit faster, but again, in actual gameplay, you'll see that this spool up can definitely get a tad annoying. Other than that, there's not really that much to check out, it's a normal reload, although a bit long, but we got plenty of magazine size, so no need to worry about that. Let's check out the base stats. Accuracy is 20, which is quite good, critical chance at 30% and critical multiplier at 2.3x, this is where the Gorgon shines, it is a crit weapon. Fire rate at 14.17, which is again, highest of all the Gorgons, magazine capacity of 120, which is absolutely awesome, reload speed unfortunately only 3.0, which is a bit problematic in gameplay, it's not a great reload speed, but again, the magazine capacity more than makes up for it. Riven disposition is 4 out of 5, which is quite good, that means that the Rivens for this weapon are gonna be quite strong and a status chance of only 15%, and this is where the Gorgon Wraith shines, it has a status chance of 21%, which is much better than the Prisma. You'll also see that, by default, the Prisma Gorgon deals puncture, slash, but mainly impact damage. Now, unfortunately, impact damage is probably, again, probably the worst damage type in the game when it comes to the free physical damage types puncture slash an impact and well that's gonna do it 60 mod capacity that is because you jump right into actions and you install an orokin catalyst which can be found from alerts invasions or if you're really lucky from the daily sortie you'll also notice the number eight over here uh, over the star that means that my weapon has been formatted eight times however for the build i'm recommending you you should be able to get away with five maximum six format so let's start adding some mods. First thing, as per the usual, we're gonna add flat damage. And the damage mod for rifles is serration. This will apply to sniper rifles, assault rifles, pretty much anything. And I'm gonna make a quick note here. If you guys have prime versions of any of the mods that I recommend, then by all means, please go on ahead and use your prime versions. Serration is in, so after damage, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of multi-shot, as per the usual. Split Chamber is the multi-shot mod for rifles, and it will add 90% multi-shot, but we're not gonna stop there. We're also gonna add one of my favorite mods in the games, and that is Vigilante Armaments. Now, Vigilante Armaments will add another 60 multi-shot, and it applies to any primary weapon. In the case of rifles, it becomes a whole lot more important, simply because Split Chamber only adds 90, another 60 from this one also... The Prisma Gorgon is a crit weapon and we're gonna be firing plenty of bullets, so that set bonus becomes just a little bit more important. Not earth shattering, definitely not, but it is something worth to keep in mind. Next, we did say that the Prisma Gorgon is a crit weapon, so why don't we amplify its crit chance and its crit damage? 150% extra crit chance with point strike and when it comes to critical damage, Vital Sense is the mod you should be equipping with 120% critical damage. And now if we look over here on the left, you'll see that our critical chance jumped up to 75% because of point strike, our critical multiplier jumped up to 5 
2.1 because of vital sense and also our status and damage was were increased the damage was increased because of serration and uh, vigilante armaments and the status chance again because of the extra multi shot from vigilante armaments and split chamber basically when you add a uh, multi shot to weapon you not only add damage but you also add status chance because you are firing multiple projectiles pretty simple yes now this is when we're gonna be splitting off into two directions. Like I said before, the Prisma Gorgon can be built in a couple of different ways. You can build it for flat out damage or you can build it for bleed with hunter munitions because this is a high critical chance weapon with a very good fire rate and a heavy duty magazine clip. So a bleed build through hunter munitions wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's put on hunter munitions. This is a very strong mod. I would even say OP in some cases. Plus 30% chance to apply a slash status on an enemy on critical hit now the prisma gorgon doesn't really have a lot of slash damage by default even with all the mods equipped the damage mods it's only still 15 percent however the build even like this still will prove quite potent now considering we're gonna go for a bleed build for hunter munitions that means that having viral on the weapon will be a good thing because what viral does it will reduce the health of enemies so in a way in a sort of speaking the, our bleeds will do double damage considering they will have half health does that make any sorts of sense in any case let's go for viral and viral is built through toxin and we're gonna be putting on malignant force or infected clip now when it comes to bleed builds for hunter munitions and going for viral then I recommend using the 60-60 mods for the simple reason that you want to have a more reliable status proc on the targets. If this was a flat out damage build then definitely the 90 mods would have proved greater however what I'm interested from the viral effect is not necessarily its damage but I want that viral proc consistent on my targets so my bleeds will uh, do the rest. So that's kind of the reasoning behind using the 60-60 mods. So we're gonna need Toxin, like I said, with Malignant Force. Fairly cheap mod, fairly affordable, nothing to worry about there. And the next we're gonna be using Cold with Rhyme Rounds. Rhyme Rounds is the 60-60 mod for Cold. So 60 uh, Cold and 60 Status Chance. And you will see that our uh, status chance jumped to 63%. This was affected by the 60-60 mods as well as all the multi-shot we put on. And well, that's gonna be a build we're gonna test it out see how it works then we're gonna switch it up and try again we're gonna be spawning in eight corrupted heavy gunner level 115 keep in mind that corrupted units have more health and armor than regular ones so let's go to town on these we're gonna put a couple of bullets well by a couple i mean a lot in their heads and see what happens ah look at that bleed that glorious bleed absolutely awesome so you're basically gonna put like one a third of a clip half a clip in their head and just watch those slashes go to town again the prisma doesn't really have that much slash damage but it's gonna be more than enough to take these guys down so again mm, i think like a good idea would be to like till they're like 50 percent health and then just watch them bleed out as you can see, the reload time is not necessarily great, but I've looked for ways to resolve it without actually using a mod, something like through arcanes and all whatnot, and unfortunately, I didn't find any great option. If the uh, viral goes away, let's see, if the viral goes away from the target before the slashes kill it, let me show you right here as an example, you'll see that the health will just simply pop back up, which is why, again, you want consistency when it comes to that viral proc. And this is how the weapon works with uh, a slash build. Of course, this can be further augmented if you so desire, but just between you and me, I'm kind of tired of uh, slash builds through hunter munitions. Let's try it a different way. This is definitely a good option. If you like slash builds, then absolutely go for this one. It will prove more than efficient. But for now, let's drop it and let's go for just flat out damage. If we're going for just flat out damage against the Grenier at the very least, what we're gonna be wanting is corrosive damage so we're gonna make with toxin and electricity as per the usual and since we're going just for flat out damage numbers we're not gonna be using the 6060 mods we're gonna be using infected clip with stormbringer which are the 90 mods as for our last mod we're gonna further amplify the toxin i have tested for the past couple i don't know two days something like that all the possible options with this kind of a setup and the best way you can go for the last mod is something like high voltage with for electricity or if this one was too expensive 
because it is a, a bit of a more rarer mod it can be obtained from the mission Na Elgar on the planet Eris but it has a small chance to drop and people are selling it in a uh, trade chat for as high as 50 60 plat but you can get it for something like 30. Malignant Force however is a whole lot more less expensive it's 10 15 plat on the maximum and this one you can get fairly easily. In any case, this one will have the same effect. As you can see, if we switch these around, it's going to be the same effect simply because we are still using Corrosive. Among the things that I have tested for the last couple of days for a last mod slot of this build was even something like Argon Scope, which is a very expensive mod and I don't really like to recommend expensive mods on my initial builds, but in any case, not even Argon Scope proved better than further amplifying the corrosive damage. So this is what I recommend for a flat out damage build. And again, your damage types are supposed to be swapped out depending on what faction you're fighting. But in any case, we got 360 corrosive now and our status chance did drop by a bit. Uh, we are now rocking a 49.6% status chance and as you can see, viral went away, but we got a whole lot more of corrosive now. So let's see what happens to those heavy gunners now. We're gonna kill what was left of them and simulate bring in the same set. This is just gonna be for the flat out damage. This is no bleed, no anything. We're just gonna shoot the targets till they die. And as you can see, it's definitely quite effective. And this is the type of build I like for an assault rifle. It simply kills them. No slashes, no funny business, no anything. You get the corrosive proc because again, the status chance is still 50%. We are still firing a lot of bullets here. We got plenty of multi-shot, good fire rate, good clip size. So we're definitely gonna uh, be applying that corrosive effect to our targets. And as you can see, it simply chomps right through them. And this is the second build I recommend. It's really gonna come down to you and your personal preference because the Prisma Gorgon offers good results both for a slash hunter munitions build or with a flat out let me melt you damage build. And now that that's out of the way, why don't we check out something even more stronger? We gotta push it to the limits with something like a Riven mod. Yes, I do have a Riven for this weapon. Thankfully, I did manage to get it on the down low, on the cheap, and I did roll it 14 times, and this is the best I could come up with. We got critical damage, critical chance, electricity, and minus impact. Now, the minus impact is a bit of a crying shame, considering that the largest amount of base damage for the Gorgon is impact, but again, impact damage is not really all that great right now in uh, Warframe. It's the worst damage damage type from my point of view so I don't really mind besides the pluses on this one are absolutely insane and the build as you can see here is pretty much similar mostly to what I recommended to you guys now it is true that I did drop uh, the 90 mods for malignant force and high voltage which are the 60 60 mods that's because at a higher level and I'm talking about enemies level 130 140 150 having that 60 60 chance is a whole lot better but again, if you're running something, anything until level 100, the 9090 mods prove a bit more efficient. Now, let's go to town on them and see what kind of a difference can we get with a Riven mod. Riven mods for this weapon, again, because it's not very popular at the moment, are quite good, I gotta say. I mean, you can get an unrolled Riven mod for the Gorgon for as low as 50 plat, and that's definitely something worth mentioning. Not everybody loves the Gorgon, even though, as you can see, it's it's amazing. I mean, with this Riven, it simply just chops through everything without any problem at all. As you can see, I can use a single clip. How many? I killed, like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six enemies with a single clip. And these are still level 115 heavy gunners. These are no pushovers. I love the Gorgon. Up until I uh, build it, fully kitted out the Prisma Gorgon, I was using the Tiberon Prime as my go-to assault rifle. Now I'm using the Gorgon simply because of the difference in Rivens. Now you don't need Rivens to have fun, you don't need Rivens to be effective, but if you do manage to get your hands on a cheapo Riven for the Gorgon, rest assured that this weapon is definitely worth building. Now this is the part where most people will ask you to like, favorite, share and subscribe and I am no different. But by all means, if you guys enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, then by all means like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. We also do Twitch live streams mostly 5 days a week and you guys can find me over on Facebook and Twitter as well where we announce the streams mostly an hour, 2 hours before they happen. As always, my name is Malazar, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye! Why don't you wave? Wave, damn you.